Hello YouTube, Risks HD here today with a brand new Crazy Black Ops 4 video. Now, the reason that I say that this video is crazy is that I actually don't have the Argus unlocked and I just picked one up off the ground and went absolutely in with it. Unfortunately, I've not been lucky enough to unlock this gun from Supply Drops, which is really frustrating and I really, really dislike the way that they've implemented DLC weapons into this game as there's not much you can do about it but pray that you hope you get the gun you want from reserve cases and I've got quite a few guns like I got the Essex Stingray, uh, I unlocked the Vendetta, I've got the Peacekeeper, I've got the Locust but I still have not got the Argus which is the one that I want the most which is so frustrating but yeah anyway enough rambling about how much I despise supply drop weapons um, in this gameplay I went on I believe a 53 kill streak which was only ended because the game ended uh, which is kind of cool and I just so happened to be running gunship this game and when I used it, I actually got out of it as I could have been getting more kills with the Argus which just shows the power of this gun really. I really love the way that the Argus plays and to me it just feels like a power crap Mog 12 which is which is kind of annoying as you know I love using the Mog 12 and I haven't unlocked the Argus because it's stuck behind supply drops but yeah when you aim down sight with this gun uh, it kills the enemy almost 100% of the time if you hit them essentially what I'm trying to say is that it gets very few hit markers while aimed down sight and only gets hit markers if they're really far away the only downside really to the Argus that I've noticed when I've picked it up is the hit fire which is not very good and I, I usually aim down sight with it but then again I usually aim down sight with the Mog 12 anyway so in my opinion for my playstyle the Argus is just far superior. Also the Argus has a larger magazine which is really helpful for getting feeds and staying alive on streets and I wish that our, the, uh, the Mog 12 had 5 pellets so it could compete with the Argus in this way but sadly it doesn't so I just think that the Argus is more powerful. Also, the Argus, you only need to run four attachments, I think, on it. Whereas the, uh, the Mod 12, you've got to run four, but one of them is the Operator mod, so it counts as five. So you're using up more class points to make the Mod 12 viable. Whereas the Argus can be, you can get another perk for, which is really great. Uh, now, I did see the attachments this gun had equipped when I picked it up. So if you were lucky enough to get the Argus from a, a reserve case, or if you if you like to splash the cash a bit, um, these are some attachments that you could try on it. Uh, the gun I picked up had rapid fire, extended mags, fast mags and long barrel equipped. Now I can't be definitive and say that this is the best fast setup for the Argus as I haven't tried out all the other attachments available. However what I can tell you is that this is really powerful as when I picked it up it was absolutely insane. And if I had this gun I would definitely run long barrel, uh, rapid fire and extended mags as they'd be so helpful for hitting feeds and going on crazy gameplays. The only attachment left to talk about is fast mags and it does sound really helpful, like I don't know the, uh, the reload time without it and with it, or I can't really compare it as I haven't, <laughs> I haven't got the gun, which is really annoying, uh, but it does sound really helpful, uh, and if there are no better options that I would choose, I would definitely run fast mags too, um, but yeah, I need to test all the other attachments on the gun first, but obviously I can't, which is a bit annoying. Also, I thought I would just quickly talk about uh, Grind, which for me is definitely a top 10 map in the game, possibly top 5. Uh, it doesn't play quite as well as Grind from Black Ops 2 as the spawn split more easily in this game. I feel as though players move faster in this game, or perhaps, perhaps it's because we've got the slide mechanic. Uh, but either way, the spawns split fast and it really does result uh, in a lot of running between the spawns, which isn't too fun. However, it is still a really good map, uh, especially for shotguns, and it's still really fun to play on. Also, I'll quickly just say that in this gameplay, I'm playing on a Black Ops 2 map in Black Ops 4 with a Black Ops 3 gun, which I find pretty funny. Uh, if only I'd been using the grab as my primary and not the uh, the stupid Vendetta, I would have uh, had Black Ops 1 in there too. But anyway, I still think it's kind of cool nonetheless. Also, I thought I'd just give you a quick channel update in this video. Uh, we're closing in on 100 subscribers and the support on this channel is so crazy at the moment. Uh, so I really can't thank you all enough. When I do hit 100 subscribers, I'll release a 100 subscriber montage which will consist of some of my best clips throughout the entire time I've been playing Call of Duty as I've managed to keep a folder that contains all of them which I'm really subs subs uh, surprised with uh, as I thought I'd have lost them, uh, lost some clips by now. I hope you all do enjoy that video, I know I'll feel so nostalgic when I'm editing it and yeah, I hope you find it entertaining as well. I'm trying to pick the music for it at the moment and it's quite hard because I don't know whether I want kind of rock music or epic music or what, it's, it's quite hard to pick, but yeah, I'm sure I'll try and make it as good a video as I can and I'll try and edit it as best as I can. Also, I have lots of cool videos coming out before Modern Warfare and lots of great things planned for when Modern Warfare does release, uh, so I'm so excited to share some of this with you uh, all in the future. It should be awesome, I'm absolutely loving editing videos right now, and I know I've got university coming up soon, but I'm trying to do a bit of work now in the holidays so I'll have more free time for when um, Black Ops 4 comes out, but yeah, 
I really hope you guys do enjoy these videos. I'm loving editing them at the moment. Anyway, I thought I wouldn't be able to commentate throughout the entire video, uh, so I'll just let the rest play out in the background. I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, then consider hitting the like button and commenting down below on how I could improve or what you'd like to see next on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. It always means so much to me. And this has been Risks HD. And as always, I hope you legends have a fantastic week. Thank you.